Today I'm going to be talking about graphing ordered pairs. Now I have four different planes set up on this piece of paper. And that's the first thing that we want to define. In each plane, we use this one as our first example, we have two different things that you're looking at. In the first one we have what's called an x-axis. That's the line that runs from the left to the right. It's like a number line. And a number line that goes vertically would be called the y-axis. Now, there are four regions, or we'll call them quadrants. This is quadrant one, usually uh, a Roman numeral is used. This is quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. And each of the quadrants have different characteristics, which we'll talk about in class. The final piece to note is that you see the zero located right here. Oftentimes, I'll indicate that is my origin. I'll use a zero to indicate that that's where the two lines or my x-axis and y-axis cross. Now with all of those things defined, let's go ahead and graph a couple example points. Up here, I'm going to give you an ordered pair of 3, negative 2. Now the example here, 3, negative 2, indicates that I should be moving to the right on my x-axis, starting at my origin, three spaces, 1, 2, 3. The negative 2 indicates I'm going to move downwards two spaces, so starting here, 1, 2, and that's where I place my dot. And if this were labeled point A, I would go ahead and put a A next to it to indicate which point it was. Just to show you that ordered pairs do mean that order is important, what if I change these up a little bit, change the order of these two values to negative 2 first, and then positive 3? Well, if we did that, we would have to go from the origin, negative 2 to the left, 1, 2, and 3 spaces up, and if I were going to go ahead and give this a label of B, then notice that label B would be in a completely different quadrant and in a different location. So when we call these things ordered pairs, that name indicates that the order of the two values is important. Now, if we look at a couple more things, just as a quick reminder, what if I gave you the ordered pair of negative 4, 1? You would one more time start at the origin, move in this case left four spaces, one, two, three, four, and then down one space, and you would arrive at negative four, negative one. And finally, if you have zeros involved, let's say I give you a point three zero, you would follow the same rules. You start at the origin, you would move three spaces, this time to the right, one, two, three, and zero indicates you don't move up or down, so I'm going to go ahead and put my point right on the x-axis and that would be point three zero.